first off, um, we have contracted consciousness. And contracted consciousness is having a very small idea of what's happening in the world. For example, on the news, you'll see seven stories, seven headline stories, normally um, some kind of tragedy, some kind of bad experiences that are happening in the world because those sell and these negative news stories put you automatically into a survival mind where it grabs your attention and you know you need to hear these stories and experience these stories or they may affect you negatively in some way so they grab that survival instinct and over time you might think that the world is a very negative place and to me that has become a very contracted style of thinking so let's for a minute put consciousness into three boxes three neat little boxes and the first metaphorical box of consciousness is contracted awareness so this contracted consciousness can be described metaphorically as you sitting in this chair and it's dark and we give you a box of matches with one match inside you've never been here before you don't know what's happening but you light the match and then eventually you can see ah this is a chair this is the color of the floor uh, you know you can see what you're wearing you know and then the match goes out and that's a good way to describe a contracted box of consciousness the second box we could say out of the three boxes of consciousness is we would say well you're gonna have an expanded uh, consciousness you'll be able to see more of the world and understand more of the world what's happening you'll be able to understand fundamental life questions who am I where am I going? What am I doing? And so on. So this the second box of um, expanded consciousness could be described as you sitting in the chair and we give you a torch. It's dark. We give you a torch. You're sitting in the chair and you shine it around the room. And now you can see the pictures on the wall. You can see that there's tables and chairs and all kinds of things. And you can see the titles of these books. And you can look around the room and this is expanded awareness which compared to the first box uh, you're seeing a lot more so that is obviously going to help you in many ways understand where you are what's happening and why you are sitting in this chair but if we're to look more at the third box of consciousness um, which is called pure consciousness you'd be able to metaphorically describe that as you sitting in this chair um, it's dark outside, but there's a full moon and you're in a glass house and the light is streaming in. You can see the ocean outside and the trees. You can see where you are, uh, the, where the house is situated. And of course you can see all the things illuminated inside that house um, by this wonderful light of, of the moon and the stars. So, you know, you can go from contracted consciousness to expanded consciousness to pure consciousness and this is essentially life's journey essentially when we're stuck we're in a very very contracted state of consciousness stress um, stress depression anxiety all of these things in life you might be going through difficult situations can put you in a state automatically of very very contracted consciousness and you'll be working through um, all your problems with a survival mind, a very basal mind. How am I going to survive this? How am I going to get out of this? Um, and, you know, just your mind can run rampant trying to find answers to all of these situations that life brings you. But if you operate from a slightly higher consciousness and you're able to think, feel and act in uh, an expanded way, you know, um, you'll be able to see more. Uh, you'll be able to see that there's corners to turn and that there's not only problems in life, but there's solutions as well. So how you get there is through practice. You practice meditation, yoga, mindfulness. Uh, you go on a course, you do something to get your consciousness expanded in a way. And when that happens, you can really start to heal. And that's all that medicine is trying to do anyway, is get you out of that contracted contracted awareness and get you to try and experience some serotonin and dopamine you know hits out there and be able to move you from the downstairs of your brain to the upstairs when we're talking about pure consciousness then we're talking about spirituality then we're talking about mind body soul we're talking about your physical body 
your psychology, your emotions, and your spirituality. You see, we're multi-dimensional human beings. Unless we're in that contracted state, we're not going to really experience um, the wood for the trees. We're going to be in a state of flux, of searching for answers that rarely come when you're in that kind of um, mindset. So pure consciousness is somewhere that we're actually going. Suffering is getting us there, and so is love. But we're going uh, to pure consciousness anyway. Bad situations, trauma, uh, life itself can feel like it's holding us back. But it's not life itself holding us back. It is our thinking that is contracted and holding us back. You see, life has no boundaries. It's abundant. It is limitless. And you might feel you are limited. And that is contracted consciousness. So you are not limited and you are capable, no matter who you are, of healing and then transforming your life. And what you want is what you will get. But you're going to need an expanded consciousness and then a pure consciousness to thrive instead of just survive in this world.